This year, we're proud to acknowledge another recording artist with the Independent Music NZ Classic Record. Moana and the Moa Hunters album Tahi set a precedence by fusing traditional Māori instruments, chants and beats with contemporary dance and soul grooves. The video for album track Tahi was voted top female video of the year by television viewers. Black Pearl became an anthem for Māori women, reaching number two on the national charts and earning the band its first gold record. While the follow-up single, Ae i o u, made the learning of Māori language and te reo vowels accessible to all. The group sang Rebel and Me to President Nelson Mandela when he was hosted at a special church service in Auckland, while the video for Peace, Love and Family featured the Neville Brothers of New Orleans. It was a big surprise and a very pleasant one to find out that Tahi had been acknowledged as a New Zealand classic. It gave me an opportunity to think back, because it was a long time ago, and reflect on all the people that were a part of that. When I look at Tahi, it's not just about a musical experience, it's about the experience of being Māori, of living in Aotearoa, of what was happening at the time, of challenges and the pressures and the joys of being Māori. We were really finding our way. And I look at it now and I think it's a little bit eclectic, but there was some exciting stuff on there. It really was a, a great big fat giant love song to Māori. When Tahi was released, it was kind of a compilation of, of a number of singles and songs that we've recorded. Black girl, little girl, let me put you up where you belong. The song that helped my profile was a cover of a Phil Spector song, Black Pearl, and that went up the charts. It went gold, and we got played on the radio, and we're thinking, oh, it's always good. And then we released our own one, A E E O U, co written with Teddy and Minna and Stuart Pearce and that, and Deathly Silence. It's time to. It's time to. That's a key. The standard response from radio back in those days is probably what it's like nowadays, it doesn't fit the format. And so that was a bit of a shock to us because we're thinking, hey, what's wrong with this? This is actually us. The very first New Zealand On Air funded video was R-E-E or U, and that's what Kerry Brown put together. We were just trying to throw everything Māori into a video that you can think of. We're on a mission, right, to transform the world, to remind people that Māori were still here, to challenge the establishment. We're all part of a big movement, you know, to move Māori forward, politically, um, emotionally, in, in every way you think of. So my role in music, as I saw it, was to use that as a platform. Not only to have fun and be creative and explore and try and be innovative, but also to be useful to our people and to challenge Parker and to challenge uh, government. I'm really excited by seeing a new generation of composers writing in Te Reo. We've got Alien Weaponry, Kiko, Maimo, Rob Ruha, Maisie Rucka. There's a cast of thousands out there and new ones coming through all the time. It's part of our identity and people that are confused about their identity are the ones that find it most challenging. Yeah.